How do you explain God's love to a person that has been experienced rejection? Hmm. How do I explain love to someone? Explain God's love to someone who's experienced rejection? That's all of his life they've experienced. So anybody that's been rejected to some degree, if they're self-aware enough, like if they really look inside of what they really desire in life, um, it's acceptance. Um, if, if you're honest with yourself, if you look deep down at all your pursuits, if you look deep down at all your desires, a lot of your motives, a lot of your dreams, a lot of your plans, a lot of your expression of who you are as a person. In essence, what you're searching for is acceptance. And I think there's only one person that 100% <laughs> accepts you, not for what you do, but for who you are. And anybody that's been rejected may have found a lifestyle of performing for people or living in a way that you're attempting to please people, but the most comforting thing is to be in the presence of people who accept you, not for what you do, not for what you bring to the table, not what you're known for, um, not for your accolades, not for your trophies, not for your money, um, but just for you. And when someone provides a space where you can just be and still be accepted, there's safety there, there's security there, there's fulfillment there. You find purpose there, you find meaning there, but there's a level of vulnerability that you're able to express and I don't care what anybody says. The greatest company or the greatest places to be is where you're understood. You see what I'm saying? And there's only one person that knows your thoughts knows the words before you speak them. There's only one person that knows you to the detail that can tell you the hairs on your head. There's only one person that actually knows you better than you, and it's God. And if that's what I truly desire, if I look within, I'm gonna run and I wanna get to know immediately who that is. And then when I find you, you tell me that this life, you're not just gonna let me live it, but you're gonna let me live it abundantly. And then you have a home of many mansions waiting for me. And then I find out as I get to know you that I don't even deserve all that you've done for me, but you still did it. Nah. When you experience the love of God, There's an overwhelming, there's an overwhelming belonging that you embrace to the point where forget that you don't believe. You're gonna you're gonna tell the world about it. Period. Before you go, supposedly you don't really know when I post the video unless you actually hit that bell. I had a friend who told me that the other day, and I'm like, okay, I gotta make sure I stay on top of that and reminding people, make sure you not just subscribe but hit that bell notification. I appreciate you guys. And I am excited to continue to give you guys videos to watch um, and be encouraged, stay encouraged. We're living in crazy times. Love you guys.